found out? The captain we were able to employ. Not the captain, you fool, from George. There must be some word by now. No, sir, I'm sorry, no word at all. But I assure you, if there had been any, you would have been informed immediately. What could possibly be taking so long? I'm sure the situation is under control. How are you? Absolutely sure? Positive? No one is better at what they do than George. He'll bring Laura back. Well, for George's sake, and Laura's, I hope you're right. Because if she goes to Spencer first, if she so much as talks to Spencer or any of her kin, she knows I will seek them out and I will kill them all one by one. It will mean a plague of death upon that town, the likes of which has never been seen. And that, my friend, is a solemn promise. Am I going crazy? Am I crazy? Am I dreaming? Am I... I'm, not... I'm not dreaming. I'm not dreaming. I'm not dreaming. It's you. It's you. You're here. You're home. You're home. You're alive. You're alive. I can't say anything. What are you talking about? Why, why not? I can't be with you. What? I just yes. Who? What are you, who are you talking late. about? It's not too late. Please let what me go. What do you go. mean too late? I'm not going to let you Don't go. Don't you understand? I'm being followed. It's too late. And if they see me with you or with any other member of the family, they'll kill all of us. Well, who? Who's following you? Who's threatening to hurt you? Who's following me? Who? Please. Where are they? Where are they? Please, if no. you love me, just let me go! Never! Oh. Never! Never! I will never let you go again. If you're being followed, if anybody is on your tail, if you are in danger of any kind, I will take care of it. All right? Will you wait right here while I take a look around? Incredibly beautiful. I 
figured out, you know, getting an A on a test, having a girl say you're cute or something, you know, winning a game. That stuff was nothing compared with the way I felt today, man. My buddy Luke up there, Mayor, Mr. Mayor, his hand on the Bible. <laughs> Very impressive figure. Yes, I'm sure he'll make a good mayor. Maybe make a good mayor? I think he's gonna make a great mayor, man. Did you hear his campaign promises? Yes, well, that's the thing about campaign promises, isn't it? They're just promises, and then everybody sort of watches and waits. Well, the first few months are always very, very important. Why is everybody down on Luke all of a sudden? Nobody's down on Luke. We're just, we're just down. It's been a hard day. You know how he was dressed and what he was wearing, you know? I couldn't help staring at him. Yeah, I was thinking myself, too. It brought back a lot of... Memories. The way he was dressed, the way the house looked, and the garden, and the flowers. Well, imagine how he must have felt. <laughs> yeah, but he probably had a few other things on his mind, too. Well, he's entitled to. He's got a very rough job ahead of him. Yeah, well, he's gonna do great. You guys just wait and see. Honey, please don't misunderstand. I'm sure he is. We want only the best for him. Sure, the best. It's gonna be great. Mm-hmm. Just a little rough, though, thinking about what might have been. Well, I don't know about anybody else, but I'm exhausted, boy. Oh, it makes two of us, dear. Oh, I hope nobody's hungry, because I don't want to fix dinner. I don't feel like eating any. Yeah, I'll get something on the road. Don't worry about it. That's great. What about Mikey? Oh, Lord. Oh, he said, David, I gotta go pick him up. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I got, I got a better idea. Why don't we call, maybe he could have dinner there and uh, spend the night. That would give you a very quiet, peaceful evening. Be nice. I don't see Patter any... of little feet. <laughs> I don't see any reason why they would object to that. No, I'm sure they wouldn't. Okay, I want to get my robe on, I'll call him. I'll take care of him. I am right behind you. I'm gonna put my robe on and my slippers and be in bed by nine o'clock. Hey, gang, we'll be right back down. Yeah, I didn't know they were going to take it so hard. I 
Hope they're okay. They'll be fine. Yep. What about you? You're awful quiet. I haven't seen you this quiet since that love at first sight intern told you he was married. You couldn't possibly understand. Oh, yeah? How come? Because she wasn't your sister. Oh, come on. What are you doing now? I'm... I'm crying. What does it look like I'm doing? Well, don't cry. You don't want to do that. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. I'm stupid, blabbing my big mouth off again. Oh, how could you know? You don't know. You never knew her. How do you know? Yeah, well, let's talk about her. She must have been something else, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stavros Casadine. Sorry for the delay, sir. There were problems. What happened? She got to Spencer before I could grab her. They're together. Now, as we speak. You fool, you idiot, you imbecile. You had every opportunity to stop them. It was an accident, sir. An accident. She was trying to get away from me. He showed up, and they nailed up face to face. And rather than have discovered by Spencer, I fled the scene. There was no way you could get to her. No way without being seen by Spencer. I'm sorry. I failed, sir. I have no choice. Not then. But we have one now. I can go after them. I can kill Spencer. And no one else will find about Laura. You think, for all we know, Spencer has already told half the town. I could find out first. No, do nothing. But, I'll sir. take care of this matter myself. But, sir... You failed, George. Your job is done. She's with Luke. We have no choice, Yanni. Spencer and her family must die. Hi, Rube. Hi. I'm awake. <laughs> Good, I didn't want to disturb you. You know something? You and this room have become very famous. Oh, really? Why is that? Well, all I can tell you is next week there'll be a sign outside this door that says, Mayor, Luke Spencer was here. <laughs> I don't think he's quite that famous yet, Ruth. Oh, I don't know, Mayor, and then Senator, and who knows, President. Oh, Luke for President, huh? Well, they elected an actor. He'll have to get a haircut first. <laughs> yes, I think he'll have to clean up his act. <laughs> <laughs> Ruby, you can cheer up anybody's day, even mine. You mean to say Luke's visit didn't do that? I don't believe Luke missed his whole swearing-in reception to come running over here. Of course he did. He loves you. I know, but Ruby, today was his day, not mine. He should have been over there. He should have been having a good time. Well, let me give you a little role reversal. Somebody's giving this wonderful party for you, and you hear Luke's in the hospital. What would you do? You know I'd go running right over to see him. <laughs> so? <laughs> so I still feel guilty. Oh, I see. It's not enough to be sick. We have to be guilty, too. First Luke for mayor, now you're running for martyrdom. Luke, come on. Come on, sweetheart. I really mean it. Can you imagine the pleasure it gave Luke coming over here to see you? Much more than a hundred receptions. I guess. You know. Luke is right. About what? About the fact that you know more about life than all the rest of us put together. <laughs> and who's the rest of us? All of us dummies in the world. You're no dummy, my girl. Well, maybe not dumb. I'm sure I'm lucky. Here I am, lying in this bed. And I lost the baby that I wanted so much. Mm-hmm. First guilt, then martyrdom. You're really feeling sorry for yourself today, running the whole gamut. You're right, Ruby. I know I don't have any right to feel this way. Oh, honey, you have every right. What happened to you was just lousy, and you have every right to be angry. But don't forget, you've got a wonderful future ahead of you and a lot to be thankful for. Yeah. You I really do. got Brock. You got yourself. And a whole wonderful life ahead and such exciting options of things to do. Makes me wish I were 20 again. 
superb, not that young. Oh, come on, Ruby. You're the youngest, feistiest person I know. And you're sweet. You know, today all my wildest dreams have come true. Oh, you mean Luke? I can't tell you what it was like being there. It was really something. Everybody was there, huh? Everybody who was anybody. It was jammed. That's a pretty big place over there to get all jammed up. Big? You could put 20 apartments in there. Well, maybe you ought to reconsider, Ruby. Why don't you move in with him? Well, somebody should. I mean, he's going to be rattling around all those rooms in empty corridors. Ruby, why don't you call him? Oh, I... I don't want to intrude. Oh, come on. It wouldn't be intruding. You're dying to talk to him. You know it, and he'd love to talk to you. Call him up. We'll both talk to him. Okay, I think that's a terrific idea. I mean, after all, we're relatives. We're privileged, right? <laughs> What you're thinking? The day we were married here was the happiest day of my life. Yeah. Except for today. It was the happiest day for me, too. Oh, and we've got a new chance, Laura. We got a brand new beginning to go through. We we're in such danger, Luke. Don't, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I'm afraid for you. There's so many things that you don't know. Come here, baby. Come on, right over here. Sit down. Now you can tell me. If there is danger, we can handle it. Oh, we can handle it. Look what we've been through already. From the beginning? From the day you disappeared. I finished the Miss Star Eyes commercial early. And I wanted to surprise you, so I took a taxi back to the boat. But you weren't there. The ship was empty, and then all of a sudden all the lights went out, and I got scared, so I ran out on the dock to a phone booth. And it was very, very foggy. And I was terrified because there was someone following me. Yeah, his, his name was David Gray. Was? He's dead. I killed him. There's nothing to worry about with him anymore. I never saw him again after that night. But he hypnotized me, and the next thing I knew, I was in a boat. Yes, I know. They found the boat. Your things were in it. They said that you had drowned. No. I was taken onto a cruise ship. They rigged it to make it look as though I had drowned. Who? Who rigged it? Who did that? Elena Cassadine. in Dristan. Oh. Thanks. Did you know that I was the maid of honor at Laura's wedding? Anyway, I stood there in a line and watched them. But it was just like they were all alone anyway. They were so much in love that nothing else even mattered. And that's what I keep hearing. That's right. You never even knew them at all, did you? Well, I didn't know Laura. I'm sure Luke's always been the same. Mm -mm. No, not really. You know, back then it was like, I don't know, he was, he was like on top of the world. Luke and Laura fought so hard for what they had and to be together. And the wedding was like the culmination of the whole thing. 
And that's why the reception was so hard for us today. I, I guess when you lose someone, you, you never really lose them because their memories are always there. It's never forgetting. That's what it's all about. That and missing them. Yeah. It's kind of weird, you know. I never really knew Laura. I kind of miss her myself. Yeah. Oh. Okay, you don't have to stop. I know you were talking about her. Oh, we were, uh, we were just about finished. We weren't. We were just doing that upstairs. Yeah. Really? There's nothing wrong with remembering Amy. Kind of nice to do it together. I guess we just have to realize that today is one of those days that she's going to be on everybody's mind. You do it. Perhaps it's better this way. Maybe you should just walk away and let it be. Walk away? From my wife? Of course. There is a time to let go. Laura is my woman. If Helena had not interfered, Laura would have learned to be happy with me. Stavros, why can't you face the truth? Why force the issue when it will only bring disaster? By going back to Spencer, Laura has disgraced my name. She is young. She is an American. She does not understand our ways. Then I must teach her. There were so many warnings, Luke. The flowers in our staterooms, the model ships. Helena was behind all of those things. But why you? I killed Mikos. She wanted revenge. She wanted to hurt you in the same way that you would hurt her. Okay. What happened to you after you were taken aboard the cruise ship? I was taken to the Cassidine compound. It's an island in the Aegean. You mean Helena has kept you there for the past two years? Yes. I'll kill her. I swear I'm gonna find this woman and I'm gonna kill her. It wasn't just Helena. What do you mean? I, I'd given up, Luke. I, I thought that you were dead. They showed me a newspaper article saying that you were killed by an avalanche. But it's all right, darling. You're here now. It's, a, it's a, No, other things happened. What? Laura, what did she do to you? It wasn't just Helena. It was Stavros. Who the hell is Stavros? He's, uh, um, Mikos' cousin, and he runs the family empire now. And if it wasn't for Stavros, I think that Helena would probably have had me killed. How did he help you? When I found out that you were dead, 